Hey guys, good morning. Today I am going to show you guys my little skincare drawer as part of my six drawer organizer. It'll be the last drawer, finally. I uploaded my eyeshadow palette collection video yesterday and I hope everybody who watched it got a good laugh uh, because I definitely have some palettes that I do not use. So yes, I have like 180 of them and there are definitely a lot lot of them that I don't use or don't use a lot and you know I guess that's just the way it goes when you have a large collection um, it's kind of hard to get to some of them so I do my best though so anyway I'm going to show you some skincare right now I am headed out to go to CVS which is not my favorite thing to do obviously with pandemic and everything but I'm going to put on some sunscreen and it is the Super Goop Zinc Screen 100% Mineral Lotion and it has an SPF of 40 looks like that and um, I already put my moisturizer on I cleanse my face I put moisturizer on and eye cream I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on really I only need it unfortunately on the top of my face but I am gonna put it on my whole face just because that's kind of weird to just like cut it off where my mask is so anyway um, my hands are clean so I'm just rubbing this in I like this it has like a weird smell to it but what sunscreen doesn't the texture's okay. You can wear it under makeup, so that's good. If you were going to put on like a full face of makeup or whatever, if your foundation doesn't have sunscreen in it or whatever, it's pretty good. And like I said, it's SPF 40, so that's also a plus. And my towel on my chair, as always, to save the day. All right, so I'm just going to do my brows and put on some mascara because that's pretty much all I want to do today. And then I'm going to head out. I'm going to use the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Oh, I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz in dark brown. My hair is black right now, um, but I think the black eye pencil would look really, really harsh on my eyes, so I don't usually use something that dark. Let's get some light going. There we go. I think I told you guys the other day about this mirror that my friend Melissa got me. Um, it has lights on it and I finally got the lights working. So that looks really cool. I forgot that it was battery powered. I don't know what made me think it was like plug in and I just didn't feel like plugging it in every time I wanted to use it because I move it around a lot. I don't know. But anyway, my life has been changed forever. Now, I haven't gotten my eyebrows waxed since beginning of March or February and they don't look that bad. I pluck them, you know, under here and, you know, up here and sometimes there's like a stray crazy hair that grows out that's like a foot long, which means I just didn't catch it or see it. But usually those are blonde, so it's not like a huge issue. My brows don't look that bad for not having been waxed since March. It is now August 15th. So yeah, doing pretty well there. They could be a little shorter, but... All right, so that's the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And then I'm going to use Benefit Gimme Brow because I want a little bit more texture in my brow today because I'm not really doing, like, a full makeup look. I'm just kind of relying on the, the brow and the mascara. I use the shade 4.5 or 5. Today I'm using 4.5, which is like a lighter brown than the 5, which is like almost black. Alrighty, so we got some bold brows going on here. And then I'm going to take my lash curler and just do a little... My lashes are, are okay. Um, I... Don't mind just wearing mascara. I think my eye looks are fine without lashes. I did try lashes for my eyeshadow palette collection video because I wanted to look fancy for that. And 
I mean, I could tell in the video that I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to applying false lashes, but I'm trying and that's what it's about. It's about not being afraid to fail. So <laughs> I'm going to try them again probably later today or tomorrow when I do a full face of makeup. It was fun. I ripped them off at like, I don't know, 6.30 p.m. after wearing them for like six hours. So I didn't last that long. I know people wear them like all day. Oh, the mascara I'm using is Benefit Roller Lash. It's my favorite mascara because it lengthens, it plumps. I don't know, it just looks so good. It's my favorite mascara and I have extras, meaning backup in my stock. And I got a little on my lid, but I'm just gonna rub it off because I have no shadow going on, so it's not gonna ruin anything. All right, now I look alive. I'm not gonna put bottom mascara on because there's really no purpose for that. Oh, maybe I'll leave the light on so you guys can see me better. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's lotion on my... Was there lotion or sunscreen on my lip the whole time and you guys didn't tell me? Cool, thanks, I appreciate that. Do I wanna do concealer under the eyes? Not really, so I want the world to know I didn't sleep last night, so let's go. I did want to show you guys a couple things that I got at CVS that I'm going to review on my channel, and that is the Maybelline New York Shine Free Oil Control Loose Powder. Um, I got this one in light. They had it in light and medium, but the medium looked a little dark, so I'm hoping this will work for me. I got the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Cucumber 3-in-1 Primer Water Prep Set and Refresh. I got this because it was $5.99, so can't beat that. I got Kish Lash, Lash Glue, excuse me. Um, this is clear. I wanted clear because I'm going to start experimenting more with lashes, so I figured let me pick up a lash glue. Then I got, very exciting, three glosses from Maybelline. I'm going to review these on my channel. I don't want to get too much into them, but I'm excited to try those out. Got some razors. Um, I really like these. They're inexpensive and they work really well. Then I got some Degree deodorant. Um, I really like the Motion Sense one. Sexy Intrigue is the scent that I got. Got some pens because I always need school supplies. I call them school supplies. And I got some more brilliant white whitening strips. So that's what I got at CVS. Skincare! Welcome to my skincare drawer. This is not all of my skincare. This is simply my separate skincare drawer. If you saw my other videos, you'll know that my moisturizer is kept somewhere else. My daily eye cream is kept somewhere else. I keep it on my vanity because that's kind of where I sit after I've washed my face and I'm done for the night. Let's get started on the skincare drawer. I do have these little containers in here because I like separation. I am a Virgo, if you can't tell. Um, I have lots of little containers. I don't know where I got this one from. This is like a big metal one. Um, this one's plastic. I think I got that one at Target. Um, it says Room Essentials, which I'm pretty sure is Target brand. These I got at the Dollar Tree and that's Dollar Tree and Dollar Tree. So yeah, Dollar Tree's great for that kind of thing. In the back left corner, I have face masks, sheet masks, um, eye mask, lip mask, things of that nature. I've got the Pharmacy Brightening Mask. I love this mask so much. It's great for making your face brighter, just like it says. I just bought a bunch of these Neutrogena Hydro Boost masks. I had a discount at CVS and I figured, hey, uh, let me pick some of these up. So I picked up a bunch because I really, really enjoyed those. I've got a lip mask. I think there's another one in here somewhere. Um, these are interesting. They're from KNC Beauty and they're good. They're just tough because they don't really stay on your mouth. They're very, very moist and they fall off of your lips pretty quickly. So you have to kind of lay down while you're putting them on your lips. Then I've got one here called the Global Beauty Care Charcoal Wash Off Mask. I've not yet to use this one. Dermal Wine Collagen Essence Mask. Didn't use this one yet. Sorry, Kate. Uh, my sister got me this one. I haven't used it yet. I've got the Sephora Mask Hydro Gel um, Eye Mask. I haven't used this yet, but this is supposed to be really good. Sephora Rose Face Mask. I love these. The Sephora Face Masks are really good for the price. I think they're like, gosh, three to six dollars, depending on if they're on sale. I've got face food, real chemistry. I've yet to use any of these. Dermovia lace peel, black bamboo charcoal peel off mask. That sounds interesting. Maybe I'll use this one tonight. Compression for deep exfoliation. 
Interesting. I've got a Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Mask. I haven't used this one yet, but I definitely need to. Avocado Eye Masks. Um, I think I've used these and I liked it. Yeah, I like the Sephora masks. I've got a bunch of like fruity ones. I think these are from Target. Watermelon, cucumber, um, papaya. Another one of those Dead Sea masks. Then I have some blank therapy masks. I've got the egg white, the honey, the vitamin, the tea tree. I used the avocado one. These were also a gift and I really liked it. I have a morning and evening mask from Vitamin no idea. Um, haven't used these yet, obviously. Um, pumpkin and Spice Chai Latte by By Nature from New Zealand. Do Yo Fang from uh, Spa Life. Another one of those Sephora masks for the eyes. Meteor Shower Black Masks. I'm not sure if this is even usable now that I'm feeling it. I don't know if you're supposed to mix it. Yeah, get wet, so I don't know if you're supposed to add water to it or whatever, but... I'll try it. Then I've got a Kiehl's Cilantro and Orange Extract Pollutant Defending Mask. And those are all my sheet masks. The next section I'll take you in is over here. This is basically all of my skincare samples, so it's nothing too exciting. Um, I have some Clinique ones, some Lancome, just to give you an idea. I've got Laneige. I've got some Sunday Riley samples. Just, you know, all my samples. Then I've got this center area here. I'm hoping you can see it. Yeah. So I keep um, my Rodan and Fields products in here. I no longer am a member of the Rodan and Fields, but I still have my leftover skincare. Anyway, I've got step two. I've got a couple step threes. I've got a cleanser that I've never used. I've got two step fours. Then I have a cleansing brush with an extra cleansing uh, head, which is really cool. They go like that and they rub your face and they're really really cool and mine's not turning off there we go then i have an extra needles no more from dr brandt i really love this eye cream i've got a little cora organics noni radiant eye oil i really like this because it's an alternative to the dr brandt one it's just for a more liquidy eye oil and this one has like a roller ball so as you can see it's like really liquidy. It's nice. It gives moisture to the under eye. Then I have a bunch of makeup removers. The Bi Facile, I think is how you say it, from Lancome. I have three of those. And I also have a Clinique Take the Day Off makeup remover. I've got some brushes that I use to apply face masks. It's also where I keep some extra spatulas for applying face masks. And I also have extra tweezers in there, which I didn't even realize I had in that drawer, but I guess they're always good to have. Then back here, I've got extras of moisturizers that I love. So I've got the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. I highly recommend this for anybody that's looking for a drugstore moisturizer. It's got hyaluronic acid. Um, it looks like a gel formula, basically. It's jiggly. Then I've got another gel formula one. It's called Coconut Water Cream, and this is by First Aid Beauty. I like this one. Um, it smells really good. It smells like coconut. Again, looks like gel. I've already started using this one. I stopped because I wanted to use the It Cosmetics one. And this one, I wasn't sure if this was breaking me out or not. So I have to give this one another try. Then I've got the Best Damn Beauty Moisturizer. This is again expired. I have another one in my drawer, but I didn't want to throw it out because I can use it as body cream. Then I've got the Peter Thomas Roth. What are these called? Eye patches. Um, it comes with a little spatula on the inside um, so that you can take the eye masks out. And then they look like that for under your eyes. They're super cute. A little expensive. I think this one's $52 or something like that for this container, but I think they're worth it. I really like it. They moisturize the under eye really well. Cucumber Detox Hydrogel Eye Patches. That's what they're called. Then we've got the Green Clean by Pharmacy, and this works to take off your makeup. And it's like a balm. It's got a little spatula on the inside, and it just basically looks like a balm. Then I have a little makeup eraser, and I got the little small one. I keep the small one in here just for like extra things. I have more of them somewhere else, but um, I just keep this one in this drawer. Then over here, I've got some makeup wipes. 
I've got crappy ones that I use for swatches. Um, Top Care Makeup Remover. I got these at Price Right. Then I've got Sephora Coconut Water. I really like these for the face, but it says face and eyes, and I highly, highly do not recommend using these on the eyes. Every time I forget and use them on my eyes, it burns. Then I've got ones I've yet to try, and they are the Beauty 360 Sensitive Skin Cleansing Towelettes. They gently remove and clean makeup. Um, I'm hoping these work because they were pretty inexpensive as opposed to the Sephora ones. All right, then in this little container here, I've got some face masks. I've got the Pharmacy Bright On, which I just reviewed on my channel a little while ago. Uh, it was really fun. I really enjoy it. Uh, you put it on and it turns bright green and basically takes five or 10 minutes you wipe it off and your face looks bright and beautiful and yeah it's really nice Elemis, one of the most expensive brands there is when it comes to skincare. I freaking love this mask. Um, it's called the Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. Um, it comes out green and I don't want to waste any of it. This is like a $26 to $30 mask and I really, really love it. Then there is the Origins Out of Trouble 10 Minute Mask. When I tell you, you put this on any kind of blemish and leave it on, it will definitely diminish the look of that blemish. So you can put it on your whole face and leave it on. I think it's like an is it an overnight mask? Or you can leave it on a pimple and leave it on overnight. I'm telling you, it works. Then I have the Clinique One Step Gentle Exfoliating Cleanser. I leave this in here because I use it with the brush. This is anytime I'm really having a lot of congestion or troubled skin. This works really, really well to basically unclog your pores. I love this. It's got orange extract, which a lot of people aren't into the scented products, but I don't know. There's just something about this Clarins product that I really love. Then I've got another face mask by Sephora this time and this is a zinc mask and it basically I'll show you what this one looks like. It's just like a charcoal mask. I've used it quite a bit enough to tell you that it does unclog your pores. It might even cause blemishes to come up to the surface so be prepared for that. Then I've got the Dr. Brandt Magnetite Age Defier and this is the magnetic mask. In other words you put the mask on your face and then you take it off with this magnet. It's really, really cool. For those of you that haven't tried it, I recommend it highly. My mom tried it and thought it was really cool too. So it's got the mom stamp of approval. All right, then you probably can't see, but behind here is a row of more skincare and I'm just gonna pull out each product as it goes. Uh, I have the Super Goop Everyday Sunscreen SPF 50. I rarely use this. I use the SPF 40 more, but um, still a good sunscreen. Super Goop is, is known for their sunscreen, so it's really good. I've got the Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion. This is a very rough exfoliant. Um, it comes out and it's got the, the beads in there. You probably can't see it but they're there. Um, I mean, I can feel them on my skin. When you rub it on your face, you definitely, definitely can feel it. I've got the Proactive 3 um, Repairing Treatment. I used to use Proactive all the time when I was younger and I used to get compliments on my skin and it was really because of this product. I love this product so much. This gets rid of pimples in a snap. So literally I repair my pimples and put this on them and get rid of them immediately. Sometimes I forget that I have it, so I have bought other products since then, but this is really great. I got this at Ulta. And this is one of the products I use to get rid of pimples as well. It depends on what kind of pimple you have. Um, so anyway, Kate Somerville Eradicate Acne Treatment. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a liquid with like a pink paste at the bottom. And at the top, it says, do not shake. You're not supposed to shake it. So basically you stick a Q-tip in there and get the product out and put it on your acne and it's supposed to get rid of your, your acne. Then I got this in a BoxyCharm. It is QMS Meta Cosmetics and it's a lip line corrector. It's a lip serum that I've rarely used, but it was super expensive according to BoxyCharm. It's like a, over $100. I didn't spend it, but um, I still want to keep it because it was an expensive product. Then I've got the antithesis of an expensive product. That is the Ordinary Salicylic Acid. I think this was like $7. This works really well. Um, as you can see, I've used this quite a bit for acne, and um, it's just not as harsh as some of the other ones because it's 2% salicylic acid, but I don't know. There's just something about it that makes it not dry out your acne as much as maybe some others. Then I've got the Laneige Skin Toner. Um, I use this quite a bit as well. This is like a sample size, I believe. This one is not as harsh as other toners. So it's got like a light scent to it. Um, it's just got like a 
it has no top to it really. You just kind of pour it out on a cotton round or whatever. And yeah, it's nice. It's a good toner. And the last product in my skincare drawer is the Super Spot Remover by Origins is acne treatment gel. As you can see, there's a uh, trend forming and it's that I like to get rid of acne when it starts. So this is the salicylic acid treatment spot remover. And I really like this one a lot too. Like I said, it depends on the kind of acne I have and I use, you know, certain ones for certain types of breakouts. And that was my skincare drawer, everybody. Woohoo! Mm -hmm.